house. We are getting ready to make the tamales. I'm so excited. I'm a little tired. I have a little heartburn. I just ate some chilaquilas that were too spicy for me, but we're gonna make it do what it do. I'm excited. I've never made tamales before. I've seen the process. Seems very simple and easy. I'm lying, it's not simple and easy, but I guess once you get a rhythm down and, you know, know what you're doing, it will be simple and easy. The hard part is just making so many for so many people because people can eat about four or five each person if they hungry, hungry like that. So she's already went to the grocery store and bought things that we need, so let's get started. This is the pork. She cooked this yesterday last night actually and we're just reheating it back up in the same juices this is the lard that she bought she bought it in two packs they also sell it in little containers but these are the two packs we're going to use <laughs> Here's our pork that we boiled. And my grandma actually did this step for me already. I'm assuming this is pork, but it has some of the bone in it, but I will ask to be sure. She just boiled it, I'm sure, for a couple of hours till it's nice and tender and ready to fall apart. She did this actually last night. We just reheated it back up so it's easy to fall apart. So this is pork, the leg, the leg part. And I just want to shred it like this. put it with water some garlic onions salt and pepper like that just to give it a little season but it didn't take long once it's very tender it's very easy to pull apart so we're gonna get our other ingredients ready we have our peppers boiling in water and what we're gonna do with this is blend this up and this is gonna be mixed in with our shredded pork Have our masa here in the bowl just you know chilling relaxing so you want to make sure you put your corn husk in water let them sit for a couple of hours take them out clean them off take any strings out and make sure they're dry before we put any masa or meat in these to cook so yeah just make sure you give them a good soak for a little while you know go ahead and put your pork fat your lard 
manteca in a pot to get it, you know, not boiling, but just to melt to work into our masa. Remember, guys, you do not want this to boil. So just have it on low in a pot, stir it around until it melts, and then you're ready to go. You're ready to put this into your masa. Now, my grandma didn't know an exact recipe or exact portion for this just go ahead and put as much as you like and you're going to add little by little into your masa until you think it's perfect and remember we're going to do the cup trick with water Si me falta, te digo, eso, eso la vas a estar batiendo y todo eso. Pero, este, ya que mires que está bien batida y todo eso, entonces en un vaso le calas. Y si no se levanta, necesita otro poquito de este. Okay. ¿Eh? All right, we have everything in our bowl here. We're going to let this lard cool down, and we're going to start mixing things together. This is going to be a two-hand process, so put that phone down, and let's get started. All right, so we mixed our lard in with some salt, and we eyeballed some of the baking powder. So this is what it looks like so far. We're going to give it a taste on the salt to see what it, you know, if it needs more or not. This is a very messy job, guys. I would definitely say to get some gloves, wear some gloves. Of course, remember to let the oil cool down a little bit once you've melted it and put it in the bowl. I tried to just jump right in and it was a little hot still. So make sure to let it cool down before you mix it in. Now the trick to this, she says, is to get a, a small amount of the masa, the dough, and form a small ball and put it in a cup of water. If it floats to the top, it's perfect. If it does not, it needs more baking powder. So that's a pretty cool trick. We're gonna try that. She took a bathroom break. When she comes back, we're going to, you know, keep going. We have our pork shredded. Our peppers right here are in here getting ready to blend. We're letting them cool down. Remember guys, whenever you do blend hot things, if your blender does not have a lock on it like this one that will pop off and you will get burned and you will have to clean up a whole bunch of sauce from the cabinets in the ceiling so make sure you let it cool down even if it does have a lock on it i always 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 put a rag over the top while i'm blending so nothing pops up or comes out so we're letting that cool down we still have some more peppers to blend this is just half of the peppers if i'm not mistaken these are the ancho chilies yeah, these are the ancho chilies. Now remember, with the ancho chilies, what you do, as long with the arbol and the cascabel chilies, you soak them in water, I would say for about a good hour, and then a couple hours is fine, but an hour for sure is the minimum. And you split them open and take out all the seeds. Remember, these chilies are dried. That's why you soak them to rehydrate them. And you're going to clean them up by opening them up, taking out all the seeds, put them right back in water until you're ready to boil. You boil these until they're soft, and there you go. You could put a little garlic in there, a little salt and pepper, and some onions while you're boiling in them. Put that all in here, and that's what we're going to blend. For the corn husk, we bought a one-pound bag. The brand was Leslie Brand corn husk she bought this at i'm sure she went to what'd she say fiesta but you can go to any grocery store even walmart has them everyone has them really especially right now and like i said we're soaking them in the water and once these finish soaking we're going to clean them up make sure there's no dirt take out any of the loose hairs that are in there and dry them off completely before we start spreading our masa on there now my favorite which is not typical but my favorite are the banana leaf tamales and we're going to wash these off as well make sure there is no dirt any whatever in here wash them off dry them off and we're going to actually stuff these too remember guys i've never made tamales before so i'm excited to you know learn how to do them hopefully one day i can teach my kids how to do it so I'm excited to do this. I have some family coming over, so we're gonna enjoy some good food and some tamales and see how they come out. 
so far it seems very simple and easy the only thing is it's time consuming right now this is the easy part the putting them together that's the you know more difficult part because you got to make a bunch so i'm excited to show this to y'all guys we'll be back Whoop. Some of the, the juice from the pork, so save that. And we put some more salt and some more baking powder. No, todavía le falta mucho que la bata. Where did he go? Oh, it's hasta arriba. So, más de eso? No, 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 no. Es que la bata más. Mix more? Uh huh. Okay. Eh, ya quedó. Ya quedó. Mientras que no suba para arriba, no queda. Para que se hagan blanditas las hojas para cuando vamos a, 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 este, a doblarlos no estén duras. Porque si las haces así, no, no están. ¿Sí me entiendes? Sí. Yes. Our tamales are ready. They, they took about two hours. To these to oh my god, they smell delicious. I'm ready to dig now in. Now we're going to warm Ooh, up our wee. blended chilies. We're going to add some of our shredded pork to this to heat it up for our tamales. You don't want it to boil, just come to a simmer. Just mix everything well. And we're going to add some of our juices that we have left over from the pork. a probar de, de, de sal si le falta sal tienes que echarle más sal para que pique Tenemos todas las hojas que no sirven para que este no se queme Nunca, nunca has hecho tamales? No, nada. You could do this stuff with napkins. I'm using a clean kitchen towel that doesn't have too many fibers. We just have to dry off the leaves that we wash, of course. So after we cook them, we wash them. Este va a ser según lo que tú quieras de tamaño, si los quieres hacer grandes. Poco a poquito, poco a poquito, vean 
ese progreso y da la magia de los superpoderes que juntos podemos lograr los seres humanos. I am so happy to see you. Happy to see you. Oh, I know. Can I see you? You're not breaking. That makes me so happy. Que ya no te estás rompiendo mi corazón que poco a poco eres más fuerte. I'm so proud of you. va a ir poniendo aquí ¿me entiendes? así el ruido Yeah, <laughs>